Uh, and make no mistake, this is a fee. It's just getting an exchange rate. So let's talk about cross-border remittances, it's a problem that you guys know very well. Can you maybe explain to our audience how big is the problem and why is it so expensive to send money cross borders? $200 billion. I ask how big is the problem? That's yep. how big is the problem? That's McKinsey and Bain have uh, yep. calculated how much the kind of retail community, so meaning individuals like you and I of uh, living cross border, small businesses, slightly larger businesses, but no institutionals, yep. uh, pay the banks to move money cross border. It's a zero sum game. So some people are losing money, some people are gaining, and so yep. far it's been the banks who are gaining 200 billion a year. Now, the problem isn't that it's a lot of money. That's only part of the problem. The real problem is the bank uh, will tell you, okay, you're in Hong Kong, it costs, you know, 40 Hong Kong dollars to make an international transfer. Yep. What they don't tell you is they're gonna use an exchange rate that gives them another Four hundred dollars yep. or five hundred dollars as a bad exchange rate. Yeah. And uh, overall, you see across banks, you see somewhere between, depending on a country, three to five percent that is being taken as a bad yep. exchange rate. Uh, and make no mistake, this is a fee. It's just hidden in the exchange rate, but it's still revenue for banks, and that's why they uh, they try to get to you to use their international wires.